Today's machine provides a lot of data. That opens the field to analytics. Pascal, you say that analytics is much more than a product. It's actually a process. Could you explain that a little bit more to us? For sure, Klaus. Twinket Analytics is really not just a product. It is a complete workflow. And this workflow starts in the machine level from by the data acquisition to the data communication to the storage of the data and finally also up to the data analysis and the representation of this data. And this workflow is completely easy to use with a lot of plug and play mechanism. And this workflow starts finally here in the machine level with the so-called Twinket Analytics Logger. The Twinket Analytics Logger is a software which is integrated directly in the Twinket project. So from the engineering point of view, it is very easy to use. No additional installation, nothing. It is completely integrated. And then it works really in the real-time context. So the data acquisition is in the real-time context. So we reach a very high performance. And the basic idea behind the Twinket Analytics Logger is to develop something like a flight recorder for machines to communicate all of the necessary data what we have in a machine to analyze these machines, right? And you see uh, it is very easy to configure. We have with a few clicks, um, we can set up the location, so the geodata of the machine where it is located, then the communication parameters for the IoT communication, um, and uh, also you can choose very easily the different variables uh, from the process image of your machine. And then you can, you have two possibilities. You can store the data locally at the machine, or you can communicate this data by a so-called IoT communication protocol. It is called MQTT. And for the MQTT communication, we have this centralized message broker. The message broker is somewhere in the network and can be located at the local machine, in a machine line or in a factory, for example, um, or it can be located in a cloud system in a virtual machine. And so this message broker is the central point which managed the communication. So all the message distribution is handled by this message broker. And uh, this makes the procedure of communication very easily because every client has just to know this message broker. And um, so you see it is very flexible in the infrastructure. And in the next step, we can store this data, the communicated data, by the so-called Twinket Analytics storage provider. He can connect now, like the Twinket Analytics logger, to the message broker and consume all the data and store the data in a storage. This could be a complex uh, database system like a Microsoft SQL Server. It could be an easy blob store or also a uh, file-based uh, storage system, um, what we support here in this point. Interesting is that the complete um, workflow here is encapsulated, so it is not necessary that the user knows difficult or special command languages. Um, it is very simple to use by the representation in the engineering tools, where I can really work with the naming of the different variables provided from the logger, and then I can choose them, which I like to store in the storage, um, and also in the opposite way, if I like to analyze later the data, then I can say, hey, please provide me the data from yesterday from 5 to 6 o'clock, and then I get uh, this data over the message broker to my analysis tool. And this is then already the next step here with the Twinket Analytics service tool, one of our engineering tools, because we want now to show more than just communication or the storage of the data, we like to show the complete workflow also for the analysis of the data. And therefore, this tool is very helpful. Um, both tools, or all our engineering tools, are integrated into the Microsoft Visual Studio. And as the service tool uh, suggests, um, it is suitable for service technician, but also for machine commissioning. And the tool can be used maybe 
yeah, for uh, live data, but also for historical data. And this especially for the service technician, because if you have a problem in the machine, then a service technician can connect to the message broker from somewhere uh, and then co consume the historical data, maybe from yesterday, and see what was happened at this machine. So it is a um, perfect possibility for all the service technician. In general, um, we integrate here in these tools a um, configurator tool, and uh, all the algorithms are built up in this way that we have input data, parameters, and output data. And we have a toolbox from uh, around 50 up to 60 uh, different algorithms that are easy things uh, which count something, um, more complex things uh, like uh, correlation function or um, something like um, an unsupervised clustering algorithm, so it's a Dean stream algorithm. This comes more from the machine learning uh, point of view. And you see it is a huge range from easy things up to more complex things. And these things can be used now here for the data analysis. Another point is the interaction between TwinCAT Analytics Configurator and the TwinCAT Scope View. In the scope view, we can show you the complete raw data stream. And um, in analytics self, we can calculate all the results and can take the results by drag and drop to the scope view. And then we show exactly the significant values in the data stream. And then you can go deep into this analysis, right? And you see also the correlation to other process variables, for example. That makes it so useful in this workflow. And you see, that is the analysis. Thank you, Pascal. That's a lot of possibilities. But I think uh, the workflow doesn't end there. Yeah, that's correct, Klaus, because uh, up to now, um, this is the workflow for the experts, because we are just in the engineering and with the, with the software packages at the machine controller, so nothing for the end users. But uh, we go a step farther uh, with the so-called TwinCAT Analytics Workbench. And um, this workbench extends the functionality of the TwinCAT Analytics Service Tool um, in this way that we can generate automatically from the clicked configuration readable PLC code and a web-based dashboard. And for this purpose, uh, we provide a wizard to guide the user um, where you can, for example, uh, set uh, some yeah, some parameters for the target system of this uh, generated code where you can download it uh, for the header colors and for uh, company logos and so on for the dashboard. So a lot of parameters what you can set up and then you click, we generate the code and this code can run in a runtime 24 hours, seven days per week, parallel now to all existing machine applications in the field. And so you can realize a continuous monitoring of these machines with TwinCAT Analytics. And then we come to the TwinCAT Analytics runtime. The TwinCAT Analytics runtime is just a bundle of licenses, so uh, which offers besides the algorithm and the communication and the PLC runtime, also a complete HMI server and HMI client packs. And by the generation, you get completely open projects for the PLC and the HMI. And that means that you can make individual changes in all projects. So it is not a black box code, it is an open code. And that is very important because this is really the back of style um, where you can make changes up to the last bit in your application. And so we come to the final step in our TwinCAT Analytics workflow, and this is the TwinCAT Analytics dashboard. And um, the dashboard is uh, really usable for different user groups, so from the machine operator to the plant manager, but maybe also for the service technician of the machine builder. Um, this is accessible by authentication, and everyone can use this dashboard in, a, in their own role. So the dashboard is finally based on HTML5 technology, and especially with our analysis controls, it, with a responsive design, it allowed a platform independent access for all of these different users. And also 
after the generation of the dashboard, you have the possibility to make a lot of changes and individual things in this dashboard. So you can choose your language, you can uh, choose the different themes, so it gives a dark theme, a silver theme, for example. You can reset all the different functionalities, so you have a lot of interaction possibilities also as an end user here with the TwinCat Analytics dashboard. This is a complete TwinCat Analytics workflow, so we provide possibilities for experts up to the level of the engineering tools and also for end users um, with the TwinCat Analytics dashboard. So I think that the flexibility provided by the responsive design, but also the simplicity of use, will be welcomed by a lot of end users. Can you tell us what kind of applications they could tackle with that? For sure, Klaus, uh, and I see a lot of different use cases for TwinCat Analytics. So, of course, everything was had, uh, has to do with um, data analysis. TwinCat Analytics could be a good choice. But uh, also in special fields, predictive maintenance or machine optimization, I see use cases. And in these both fields, that are also use cases where our machine builders can yeah, develop uh, own and new business models which are data-based, and so that is a good opportunity for, for our customers. Um, then some more easy um, use cases is uh, the operational machine data collection, for example, that is very common in uh, machines also today, but here with TwinCat Analytics, you can design this with a very, very easy workflow, and uh, so that is also a good aspect. Um, the next use case uh, could be uh, the failure analyzer, so just the customer support, because usually uh, the customer supports look like um, the situation that the end users called the machine builder and said something wa uh, was wrong, and then the machine builder said, okay, then you have to activate the logging mechanism and all this stuff. Here, with our so-called flight recorder, the TwinCat Analytics logger, and with the uh, TwinCat Analytics storage provider, we have already all the data and the service technician can take his service tool and uh, connect to the historical data and can see what was happened yesterday at the machine. And so he can directly start with the analysis um, of the machine behaviors. Um, other use case, maybe also suitable for um, the system integrators is, um, yeah, for example, of the energy data management. So that is very common today to observe your machines uh, for the energy consumption. And then you have your different machines and uh, maybe they are working with our uh, TwinCat uh, IOs for the uh, power measurement. And then we can consume all the data, can send them to the message broker and then we put them into the dashboard where we show how is the consumption for these machines from an energy point of view. And for the system integrator, it is very easy to do that because with the workbench, with the TwinCat Analytics workbench and this wizard where he can set up individual dashboards, he can do it in a very, very fast way for different end customers. So you see, we have a lot of use cases with TwinCat Analytics. Okay, but I think there are a lot of uh, machine operators and machine engineers out there that uh, would agree absolutely by saying, yeah, that's exactly my problem. Um, but you explained the whole workflow based on TwinCat 3. And yeah. people out there might be thinking, I need a complete TwinCat 3 architecture and I can forget about my brownfield installation. Yeah. So what do you have to say to these people? Yes, uh, Klaus, that is an important point. But uh, also, therefore, we have a solution uh, with the gateway software TwinCat IoT Data Agent. Um, this software can run on an edge device somewhere in the network and can collect the data from existing TwinCat controllers, so from all TwinCat controller by ADS communication protocol or via OPC UA, where you have then a standardized communication protocol. And by this protocol, you have also the opportunity to communicate with uh, existing third party controllers. So. Um, and uh, you are able with uh, this possibility to convert the data from this third party, but also from the old TwinCat controllers by the data agent to MQTT. And so you can put in the data stream 
um, into the TwinCat Analytics workflow again. So you can use, like before, the TwinCat Analytics storage provider, the TwinCat Analytics runtime, and also the engineering tools with the data from third-party machines and old TwinCat controllers. Okay, so that should please everyone out there who is interested, of course, in uh, using TwinCat Analytics in a brownfield environment. Now let's come to another, to another aspect. I remember that during your workflow explanation, you also said that uh, uh, the analytics services uh, were also relevant and applicable to machine commissioning. Yeah. So, um, well, can you explain that a little further to us, please? Correct. The TwinKit Analytics Service Tool is really suitable also for the machine commissioning. Of course, not if you need the complete IoT infrastructure, like here with the message broker and all this stuff. So that is uh, something what I do not have during the machine commissioning. But what I have is an ADS connection from my engineering notebook to the different machines or the machine controllers in the field. And then you can use now also the TwinCat Analytics Service Tool. And the service tool can communicate here by ADS directly to the machine controller. And um, then you can use the existing communication channel. And uh, then you have something, I say always, something like a scope plus plus because you have the complete same functionality in the service tool as I mentioned before. And so you have the scope view plus some algorithms. And this combination can be very usable for the machine commissioning. Thank you for that, Pascal. We're now coming to an end. And uh, could you please summarize the advantages of TwinCat Analytics for the viewers out there? For sure. So I see two main aspects. Um, TwinCat Analytics allowed our customers to design or to develop new business models. And these business models are data-based. You know all the big internet companies like Google, Facebook, uh, Amazon, and all this stuff, right? And they collect a lot of data and they make benefits from the data. And I think that we should realize the same situation for machines because we have production machines and production machines provide a lot of data. And so we should use the data to make advantages for the end customer, for the users of the machines, but also for the machine builders and automation guys. A second advantage is, of course, the complete tooling of TwinCat Analytics. Everything is plug and play, very easy to use. You can generate automatically PLC code and dashboards. Um, so that is really easy to use and you save not hours in the engineering, we are talking more about days or weeks, what you can save in the engineering. And uh, this saves a lot of costs and make it easy to, to realize really an analysis application. So that is, is a big step because you have to know what you like to analyze, how you can create the benefits. But um, if you have realized this task, then it should be easy to use um, TwinCat Analytics and to create an application with TwinCat Analytics and this is the way we go.